This is the talus. The bone below and behind it is the calcaneus or heel bone. The bone in front of the talus is the navicular bone. We'll meet the other tarsal bones shortly. Now we'll go around to the lateral view to see the talus by itself. This is the head of the talus. This is the neck. The talus has three articular surfaces, one on the head and one on the underside for the two joints of inversion and eversion and one on top for the ankle joint. We already know the talus, the calcaneus, and the navicular. In front of the navicular are the three cuneiform bones, first, second, and third. Lastly, the bone in front of the calcaneus is the cuboid bone. Now let's look at the calcaneus by itself. The posterior part of the calcaneus forms the heel. The massive calcaneal tendon also called the Achilles tendon, is attached here. Here on the medial side, there's a projecting shelf, which the medial part of the talus sits on, called the sustentaculum tali. On the front of the calcaneus, there's an articular surface for the cuboid bone. On the upper aspect of the calcaneus, there are two articular surfaces for the talus, a small one in front, a larger one behind. The larger of these two surfaces, together with the corresponding surface on the underside of the talus, forms the subtalar joint. The head of the talus fits into a socket, which we'll see by taking the talus away. The socket is formed by this surface of the calcaneus, this surface of the navicular bone, and by a strong ligament here, which we'll see in a minute. These surfaces, together with the head of the talus, form the talo calcaneo navicular joint. Here's the calcaneus, the talus, the navicular, the cuneiforms, first, second, and third, and the cuboid. Let's see the same bones again from beneath the calcaneus, the cuboid, the cuneiforms, the navicular, and the talus again. Now we'll look at the metatarsals. Like the toes, the metatarsals are numbered one through five. The first metatarsal is more massive than the others. The second metatarsal is the longest. On the base of the fifth metatarsal, there's a prominent tubercle. The metatarsals are slightly curved from end to end. The heads of the metatarsals lie in one flat plane, but their bases form an arch from side to side. As do the tarsal bones that they articulate with. These are the three cuneiform bones and the cuboid. These are the tarsometatarsal joints. There's very little movement at any of them. The bones of the foot are arched in two planes, from side to side, as we've just seen, and also from end to end. The big toe has only two phalanges, a proximal and a distal. The other four toes have three phalanges, proximal, middle, and distal. These are the metatarsophalangeal joints, or MP joints for short. The joints between the phalanges are the interphalangeal joints.